Thanks for taking the time to look at LightStep with me here in the second quarter of 2021. My name is Forrest. I am a senior sales engineer based here uh, on the East Coast. I've been with LightStep two years now, and I'm going to walk through some of the uh, things that we're most excited about in the platform today. Let's not waste any more time and jump right in. So on my screen right now is a metrics dashboard for this warehouse service. One of the things that you'll hear me talk about in this demo is really our capability not to just display this data, but really to connect the dots, no pun intended, by analyzing our traces in aggregate. And we can do that even when we're looking at a metrics dashboard. So what do I mean by that? In the middle of the screen, we see a memory utilization graph across a set of hosts. This is one of many signals uh, that may exist in our environment, right? We could have CPU, garbage collection, uh, any custom metric. As long as we have some service that that is connected to, it is very novel for LightStep to inform us really about what is happening at the entire system level again. So let's actually just select on this deviation here in the middle of the screen, and then I'll choose what caused this change. In the background, LightStep has automatically chosen a baseline for me, which we can see at the top of the screen. And I'll scroll down just a little bit to where we see the biggest changes in the warehouse service. So at the top, there's this update catalog operation. We can see the changes in its P99 of latency, going from 172 milliseconds up to 613 milliseconds. There was a doubling of the rate. We can see that the error percentage is flat. We see under the heading most likely causes of performance changes that there's this particular customer, ProWool, that happens to be 70% of our revenue which is also tied to this deviation. So I'm very, very concerned about that. I'll actually just select that. We can see that in the baseline, they were 4.63% of the traces, 45% in the deviation, right? Uh, on the left side, I kind of have this critical path analysis of you know, what are the services that I should care about? Again, we started with a change in memory utilization. We're asking some really complicated questions. We're basically going from a discrete signal to thinking about our entire system. And with this critical path, basically tells me is that I really only need to be concerned about the traces coming from my iOS client. I can ignore my Android client and my web client and I have a further breakdown of the traces or I can even think of these almost as transactions uh, in my system that originated from this iOS client, specifically this update catalog request. I can see their P99 of latency went from 203 milliseconds up to 1.25 seconds. Pretty poor performance there, and there's a huge increase in rate. Like I said earlier, behind all of these are all of the individual traces that we analyzed, and we can see those uh, here as well. Again, I really want to reiterate that in LightStep, while we have the ability to ingest an unsampled data set and query any individual trace, really our premier use cases or the best way to use an observability tool is, is letting the tool analyze those for you and bubble that up to us as engineers, SREs, or whomever has a stake in the health of our system. So that is change intelligence. That includes met metrics, uh, the ability to tie that into uh, the trace data in the background. Uh, of course, you can just use this as a metrics platform or a tracing platform. That is A-OK. -okay. So next, we're going to jump into a similar workflow looking at trace data. So I'll go over into service directory. On the left side of the screen, I can see all the services reporting into this environment. I have this Android client selected. If I scroll down, we can see there's an API gateway. This is the major ingress point in this environment. And behind our API gateway are the rest of our services for processing payments, handling caching, fetching user data, or information about their profile, and things like that. And what I can do from here is from the perspective of any individual service, right, really, cater really catering to the end user now, because if I'm an Android developer, I want to solve problems from the perspective of the Android client. If I own the API gateway, I want to solve problems related or re really from the perspective of the API gateway. Of course, in a distributed system, these are all connected, so it doesn't really matter where I start. For any particular problem that manifests across the environment, we'll always arrive at the same answer or really the root cause in this what we call root cause analysis workflow. I'm looking at a 60 minute window here. I'll go ahead and select this drop down on the top right, change this to four hours, hit apply. We're now looking at a four hour window of all the operations on our API gateway. We do provide these graphs out of the box, but they are configurable. We won't jump into that now. There's a little heading here where you can edit these key operations. So what I wanna do now is look at the performance of this update inventory operation. I can see here that the P99 uh, of latency, looking at the graphs here expanded on the right side of the screen, does not look healthy, and P95 is right behind it. If I wanna analyze any point in time, I can simply select it, choose a baseline to compare it to, and then hit view comparison. 
In the background, LightStep is doing aggregate trace analysis. We have a breakdown of the all the traces in our baseline, all the ones in our regression. And very quickly, I'll be, be able to understand what exactly in our domain, in our environment, is causing or really driving this latency on our API gateway. One of the simplest ways to visualize this is simply to look at an operation diagram. This is an operation diagram that goes across service boundaries. So think about the fact that you might have a service that is doing some work, it has a single responsibility or a small scope of responsibilities, and it depends on some other service somewhere else that also has some scope of responsibilities. You might be thinking, okay, we'll just trace from request to request, but we can actually go deeper to that and look at the work inside of each one of these services as they relate to the work inside of each of the other services. So visualized, we see our API gateway. There's this update inventory request. We can see that there is this callback in service operation still in our API gateway. As so we follow the right side of this diagram, we now see that we've entered our inventory service and there's this large amount of yellow on this write cache operation in our inventory service. So we've gone deeper than just the boundary. Uh, what LightSup is telling us, based off the size of this yellow circle, is that we're spending all of our time on this write cache operation. In addition to this is a ton of metadata analysis on all of our traces. Uh, we have the ability to ingest any number of attributes uh, on your trace data. What that allows us to do is see that in this case, the fact that we're processing large batches seems to be the primary contributor to the fact that we're spending a lot of time doing cache writes, probably spending a long time writing data to disk, and our distributed system is blocked on that. It doesn't matter where I start my analysis, what I would have seen in this operation diagram, whether I started on the iOS client or the Android client, is that downstream we're spending all of our time doing cache writes. The last thing I'll touch on in this demo is explore. I went ahead and opened this up. We can query or write queries to any degree of cardinality, I should say. Uh, behind every query is a service diagram. So for an empty query, I have just this dynamically created diagram showing me what my distributed system looks like. But what's much more powerful than that is querying this in real time. So let's go ahead and look at the performance of our system, or really the performance of our iOS client just for this one customer. This could be for a customer in a region, per zone, for a specific version of a service. I could increase the cardinality of this query. Uh, it, it really is as deeply as I want to. But for every one of those, we'll get a, a trace analysis, uh, but also this service diagram of what we see now showing me the critical path of my entire system related or from the perspective of just the things that I am either a service owner of or that I care about related to maybe the business drivers um, or the revenue drivers in my business. If you want more information, definitely do reach out to us at LightStep. Again, my name is Forrest. I'm always available to answer any questions and I hope that we chat soon.